The Brulee Wine Spring Release features three delicious Pinot Noirs and our 2023 Rosé of Pinot Noir. And let's begin by running through those three Pinots. The San Giacomo Vineyard Roberts Road, the Nightwing Vineyard, which is our newest vineyard in the Petaluma Gap, and lastly, the Sobranes Vineyard Pinot Noir from the Santa Lucia Highlands. Why don't we go from lightest to fullest body? Um, because that makes the most sense. So let's start with that San Giacomo Vineyard Pinot Noir. This 2022 San Giacomo Vineyard Pinot Noir is definitely one of the prettiest iterations from this vineyard to date. The San Giacomo Vineyard is probably the coolest site of the three Pinots that we're gonna be tasting through today. So it definitely has a cool climate sensibility. It's a little bit lighter bodied, it's a little bit more feminine and very, very elegant. The nose is a real showstopper with red fruit like pomegranate, orange pico tea, and hints of blood orange. The palate opens up with a pop of bright red fruit, sour cherry and pomegranate, and the finish is so smooth and so long and so beautiful. I have to say, I think that maybe the San Giacomo Vineyard Pinot Noir for 2022 Vintage wins the Palette Texture Award of any vintage of this vineyard to date. It is simply, simply stunning. Next up is the moment you've all been waiting for, the Nightwing Vineyard Pinot Noir and the Petaluma Gap. This vineyard has morning fog and punishing, punishing afternoon winds that result in berries with thicker skins, meaning we can extract more color and more flavor from these young vines. The nose has a core of black cherries surrounded by savory notes and loads of sweet baking spice. The palate entry is full and rich, making this a more full-bodied and a little bit more of a meatier Pinot Noir than the San Giacomo Vineyard Roberts Road. It's got some wonderful savory notes on the palate as well as that core of blackberry right in the middle. It has some nice acid lift that carries it all the way through and it's got a little bit more tannin to it in the finish because it's a fuller body Pinot Noir. I think you're gonna love it. It has all of the wonderful representations that make Pinot Noir exceptional. Perfumed aromatics, dark berry fruit, some savory notes bringing in some complexity and a really soft finish. And last but not least, we have the Sobranes Vineyard Pinot Noir from the Santa Lucia Highlands. This vineyard is the fullest bodied of the three with the biggest shoulders. Wow, this vineyard always showcases its terroir beautifully with a core of brambly fruit and plum surrounded by clove, Asian five spice, wet tobacco, and some hints of savory notes. Wow, that palette opens up with a burst of blackberry and follows through with a long finish. This is the most full-bodied wine of the three Pinots that we're offering and it is really delicious. We opened a bottle of this and had it with grilled tri-tip the other night, and that pairing was a match made in heaven. I know you're gonna love this with some of your heartier dishes that you make at home. And of course, last but not least, the 2023 Rosé of Pinot Noir, which I'm gonna bottle in a few hours, which is why I pulled this sample out of the sample valve of the tank at five on the top. As you can see, this is a beautiful ballet slipper of pink. The color is sparklingly clean and beautiful. Oh, the nose is so pretty. The nose is tropical, lifted, and even floral with hints of jasmine flower and small white buds. The palette is bright, lifted, easy drinking with loads of tropical fruit. And if you're like me, you'll enjoy this fruity delight year round. I'm so excited to share the new rosé and these three Pinot Noirs with you for our 2024 spring release featuring San Giacomo Vineyard Roberts Road, Nightwing Vineyard, the Sobranes Vineyard Pinot Noir, and our 2023 rosé of Pinot Noir from Sonoma County. Thank you and cheers.